Hello everybody, Rob here, aka uh, Average Hobbyist, aka Average Gamer, and today I wanted to talk about what got me into Warhammer 40k and why I'm excited for 10th edition. So when I got into Warhammer, it was 2004, the Battle of McCrag box set came out as part of the 4th edition book in 04. So a buddy of mine... He uh, he was into Warhammer uh, Fantasy and Warhammer 40k as an artist. Um, he loved doing painting. He's actually now a professional artist with a art studio, um, and he's very successful. Uh, but anyways, uh, so he was already into this stuff for mostly for the artistic stuff, and I was kind of interested in it. Um, and I was kind of on the fence, whatever. And then I saw this set and I'm like, you know what? I'll drop the money on it. Um, I had some spare cash and I'm like, I'll do it. Why not? Let's see what happens. And we, we played the initial mission is you have to extract this Lieutenant right here, um, off the edge of the board. Um, they get to get to him, extract him. And, or get to him and then help extract him off the board. If you're able to do that and get the lieutenant off the board, you won as the Space Marines. And as the Tyranids, you just wanted to kill everybody and wipe everybody out. Um, there was alternate ways of playing it. Um, there was little, little ways. We played multiple different types of, of game modes. So the initial inbox game mode uh, was basically you set everything up, you extract the lieutenant. Then there was um, another mode where, and this is the one that I, it was kind of fun, which was just basically the tiered units versus the, the space marine units, and that was it. It was just a classic, you know, you know, just classic battle. Then there's also like little ways you could play it, and what we did was we kind of tweaked the game a little bit. So for example, uh, we had a game, mo we, we had one game mode where the shields here were around the cockpit. The lieutenant was inside the, or sorry, not around the cockpit, but around this section of the craft ship. Within that little area there was then this guy who could shoot out with his last pistol. And what would happen is the Tyranids, the Gene Stealers, and the Gaunts here could damage per round and shoot or hit, um, you know, scratch, punch, cut, whatever. Some of these shield um, emitters. <laughs> and basically, it was that person's job to basically stay alive until uh, we would play up to six rounds. So on round four, the, sp the first Space Marine unit would show up, and they would do their thing. And then on turn five, the next five Space Marines would show up. And usually at that point, the second one showed up, and the majority of the... The stuff was okay. You know, Space Marines always won. So then we started tweaking it a little bit. And we read in a White Dwarf that they played a thing called, I think it was Purge the Xenos was a mode, which was ridiculously awesome, which was the Space Marines have one job, and that's to destroy this spawner right here. The Tyranny player could pre-place mines, have your Gene Stealers and your Termigant and Termigants, but every turn you got to roll a six-sided die. Whenever that six-sided die said, you got that many more gaunts. If you rolled a six, you got a gene stealer back. Or you just got a gene stealer. Um, we played a little differently, I'll get into it. But it was fun. It was amazing. Um, we tweaked a couple extra rules, like we did the thing where it was, uh, for, if you roll anything one to five, you got that many term, uh, you know, Tyranids back. If you rolled a six, you got a gene stealer. Um, so you didn't get the five tier in it. You didn't get the five of these guys. You just got one gene stealer and that was it. Um, and the space Marines only had the 10 guys. We changed the pilot um, to, I think it was a lieutenant or something like that. Remember we, we upgraded their, their stats. Um, then in another mode we played, we played where, cause I had been collecting tier nids. We did the same thing with this one, except we did a times two, times three. We just tried to try to make the Tyranids as dangerous as we thought they would actually really be in lore. Um, 
then we created, then we were reading up about some people that were creating like basically like super soldiers through the space Marines by changing up their stats here and there. We did that. And it was all just with this set for, from, it was June or July is when we picked it up until the following November, October, November. We didn't pick up any extra units. We just played Space Marines and Tyranids and with this set. Um, he painted the uh, the terrain. I painted the units horribly. I'm still bad at painting. But, you know, looked good with the scenery. <laughs> um, yeah, an amazing game. We had tons of fun and that's what got me hooked into, into 4 Cat. The shame, unfortunately, when my son was born, um, I went through a phase of freaking out about things, and I cleaned out a lot of stuff that was collecting dust in my basement because I stopped collecting and stopped doing a lot of 40k stuff, and threw a lot of it out. And that was four years ago because I hadn't done it in like ten years, um, and unfortunately, I really regret doing that because now I got to collect it all over again. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm, I'm getting back into it. I'm really excited for 10th edition because of the new range refresh for Tyranids. Because when I got into it, 4th edition, there was a range refresh for Tyranids. So I'm kind of perfectly timing myself. Um, my plans are to collect four different armies. Um, Imperial Guard, Tau, um, Space Marines, and Space Marines, and, um, and Tyranids. They're going to be actually on these racks behind me, as you see. Um, I'm really excited for 10th edition, especially the new models. Um, I'm not going to be one of these guys that I'm not going to be putting out tutorials on how to paint. I'm not going to be putting out videos showing me painting by any means. Um, I'll talk about models. Um, I'll talk about the models that I painted. I'll show them off, things like that. But I'm not that good at painting. Um, if you're wanting to see someone who's good at painting, there's lots of other YouTubers out there. Um, but I'm more of the, just the fun playing part. I enjoy building them, painting them, and playing. Um, you probably won't see as many playing videos, but lots of like me talking about like just what I painted, how I painted it, why I painted it in certain ways. But yeah, I am super excited. So excited. Uh, for 10th edition, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and I didn't hit the right button. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.